go to statements. So these are transfer of control statements. So these statements are used for transferring control. Fortran supports three types of go to statements. The first statement is called as unconditional go to statement. Second one is called as computed go to statement and third one is assigned go to. The first one is actually unconditional go to statement and uh, remaining two are conditional go to statements. The first statement that is unconditional go to statement has this syntax. It is written as go to followed by a statement number. Here this is the statement number of a statement to which control is to be transferred unconditionally. This is example of go to statement. Go to followed by statement number. Go to followed by statement number. So these are two examples. Let us go back to a program demonstration and let us study how to use unconditional go to statement. So here we got this program. This program uses unconditional go to statement. The sequence of execution will be like this. Just after program header, it comes to the first executable statement. This statement says, uh, sorry, transfers control to statement number 300. So control will be transferred from this point to here. So the first statement that will be executed is this. So first statement is actually go to statement. This statement transfer, uh, transfers control to this statement and therefore you get three stars. After that control is transferred to this go to statement. This is a transfer of control statement that will transfer control to this statement and therefore we get one star. So the first display will be three stars followed by one stars, one star. After that control will be transferred to statement number 400. So we get five stars and after that program terminates. So if we execute the program, we should output like this. This is what we anticipated and this is how the program is working. Next, we'll move to computed go to statement. So computed go to is a form of conditional go to statement. The control is transferred based on value of an integer expression. So this is the syntax, go to followed by a list of statement numbers. There can be more than one statement numbers. So we have to write list of statement numbers for separated by commas. After this, we put a comma followed by an integer expression, i. i is an integer expression, n1, n2, n3 and so on are statement numbers. The sequence is a uh, sequence of execution is like this. The first expression i that is this expression is evaluated. After that based on value of this expression control is transferred to one of these statements. So the control will be transferred to statement n1 if value of i is equal to 1 i is this expression. So if this is equal to 1, control is transferred to this statement. If this is equal to 2, if i equal to 2, control is transferred to n2. So if this is equal to 2, control is transferred to second number. <coughs> Likewise, if this is equal to 3, control will be transferred to third statement number and so on. So at the end we can say that if i is equal to m, control is transferred to nm. But if value of i is greater than let's say number of statement numbers here, then control will be transferred to next statement. Or if it is less than 1, or less than, yes, less than 1, then control will be transferred to next statement. So for i less than 1 or i greater than m, control is simply transferred to the next statement after the computed go to statement. So if we write example like this. It says go to 120, comma 200, comma 700, comma 120, comma 120, bracket complete, comma KM. So this expression is grammatically correct. 
you should remember we can repeat a statement number if required the working of this will be uh, like this if km is equal to 1 control will be transferred to first number that is statement number 120 if km is equal to 2 control will be transferred to 200 if km equal to 3 control is transferred to 700 if k equal to 4 control is transferred to 120 and if k is 5 control is transferred to statement number 150 for k m less than 1 or k m greater than 6 sorry greater than 5 control will be transferred to a statement after this go to set in program so let us study computed go to using a programming example so this example demonstrates computed go to statement so here I have used some variable i current value of i is 3 so as i is 3 control will be transferred to third statement number that is statement number 300 so if I execute this program now I should get this output after this control will be transferred to this statement and therefore this will also be executed so I, I will get these two out, uh, outputs I equal to 3, I equal to 4. So the program is not, I can say, executing properly. I should get output either. I should get on either this as output or this or this or this. I want any one of the four statements to be executed. Currently, what happens is if control is transferred to statement number 200, all the statements after statement number 200 are executed. So to prevent execution of other statements, we can put stop statement here. And we need to put stop here also. Now if I execute this program, control will be transferred to 300, this will be displayed and program will be terminated. Display is i equal to 3. I can change this value, I can set it to 4. Display displays equal to 4 I can set it to a value let's say 0 now in this case control will be transferred to next statement after go to so that is this statement so this will be displayed and then program will stop working there's a 1 or greater than 4 This is a diagrammatic representation of computed code. If i is equal to 1, control is transferred to statement number n1. So this refers to the, referring to the syntax. This is how we can represent computed go to using a flowchart. The next statement is assigned go to statement. So assigned go to statement is a conditional go to statement. Here we actually use combination of two statements. There is assign statement and then there is go to statement. Assign statement is used for setting value of a variable and then that variable is used in the go to statement to transfer control. Assign statement must be executed before go to statement. The syntax of assign statement is like this. Assign followed by a value followed by this word to 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 followed by a variable integer variable value that is integer value is assigned to this integer variable and then this variable is used in go to statement for example you can write assign 100 to k so this stores 100 in k but i cannot write this this statement is not valid. I must use assign statement to assign value to integer variable. After that, I can use go to k 
k statement this actually means go to 100 So this program demonstrates assigned go to statement here value of i is equal to 2 because i is equal to 2 this statement will not be executed this statement will not be executed because i is not equal to 1 this will be executed because i is equal to 2 and therefore assign 200 to i so i gets value 200 after this when this statement is executed this actually means go to 200 so control will be transferred to this this statement and therefore I'll get this output this and this output here also I can put stop statements to allow execution of only one of the rights right now the execution is like this I can change value of i to let's say 4 display this I can set it to 1 so this is end of the demonstration so we'll stop here